Hi everybody, my name is Emma and I'm a first year student at the University of York studying a Masters in Mathematics. This video is going to be sharing with you my favourite tips for managing your mental health, the mental health that is available for students at the Uni of York and top tips for autism because I am a student that lives with autism so here are my top tips on how to manage a student lifestyle. The first service that I want to mention is the Open Door Service which is a team of mental health practitioners and wellbeing officers Offices. They're here to support you with whatever you need. To refer yourself, you simply go onto the website and fill in a self-referral form and someone will get back to you and refer you to an individual who's going to best suit your needs for what you want the service for. You get between one and six sessions and they can be either online or in person, which I think is really nice. And the service is completely confidential, so don't worry about what you discussed there. They're simply there to help you and give you the support you need. The next thing to talk about is the Talk Campus app. Now, this is a free to download app, which you sign in with your student university email. And it's basically a f like a chat forum full of all different students across the world where you can talk about your highs and your lows. It's a really great way of seeing that you're not alone in struggling at university if you are, because this is completely separate service to university. So the university don't know that you are taking part in the conversations on this app. It's fully moderated, so it's a safe space to talk about anything that you're feeling concerned about or excited about or anything you want to share. And then the last thing is the second and third year mentors, which we call STIMS. And these are students that are present throughout the year that you can go to for extra guidance and support. It's a really nice way if you don't want to go speak to a member of staff and you want to speak to someone your own age or someone that's been through uni experiences in a similar time to you so they can relate and point you in the right direction. The next thing I want to talk about is my experience of seeking out support for my mental health at uni as a math student. The first thing is the transition support officer. I went to see mine in one of the very first weeks of starting university because I was very overwhelmed and he pointed me in the direction to the wellbeing officer and it was really nice to have that one-to-one -one every week to air out what I was concerned about and have someone that gave me a different perspective on university life. Now this portion of things is more focused on autism. There are so many mental health societies at the University of York. I've been to some of the events for them and they're really nice to find like-minded people and people that you already sort of have a connection with because you know that they're probably struggling with the same things that you are. So there's things like the Sunflower Society, there's Neurodiversity Society, ADHD Society, and then there's also more general mental health ones like Mental Health Awareness Society, BEAT, which is for eating disorders, and then the Open Mind Society, which is where you can volunteer for mental health charities and do work and give back to the community that way. And the last thing that is autistic support at university is the Spectrum meetings. So this is a group that's for those that consider themselves to be on the spectrum. It's really informal, so you can go as and when you want. And if you want to join, you need to sign up to the mailing list. These are some of my top tips for living with autism that I like to do on a regular basis to keep my mental health as high and as good as possible. So the first thing I do is I go to the supermarket really early on in the day so it's nice and quiet and I make a meal plan and a shopping list of what I need to get before I go. And treat yourself while you're on campus. I bought this little pick-me-up smoothie. I would say staying organised is another thing that you can do to make yourself feel a little bit more prepared about going onto campus and doing your classes. So I like to pack my bag to take the night before. I like to prep food in advance, so I'll usually take myself a packed lunch in. I'll sometimes plan my day in advance as well, so then that just really helps me focus my mind on the next day and not get too stressed out about it. Then these are more generalised mental health tips for students. The first being, get out into the city centre. York is absolutely stunning. It has some beautiful shops and restaurants and cafes. So go out every now and then and treat yourself. Also, make use of the nature on campus. It's an absolutely stunning place to live. You can see cygnets and ducklings this time of year. And even on the wet, dark days, it's still lovely. This is when it was raining and it's still like a stunning campus. So get outside, get moving and just enjoy the fresh air. And then the last thing, and I'd say probably the most important thing, is don't be too hard on yourself. University is really hard. Moving away from home for the first time is really hard. Cooking for yourself, cleaning is really hard. So if you're finding that there's some days that are harder than the others, it's okay. If you're anxious, it's completely normal. You'll get the hang of it. I never thought I would, and I have. So please don't be too hard on yourself. You're doing amazing. And I hope this video has helped you, whether you're a prospective student or a student already at the university. Bye.